Hi, this is Donnie. Welcome to TheRave.com. Today I'm with Kevin and Jason from uh, Trust Company. Why don't you guys say hello to everyone out there? Hello there. What's up? Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you guys here once again. Um, um, I don't know what week this is of the tour so far. How's things going with Johnny Poole and New Revolution? It's great. It's been an amazing tour so far. I think we're in week we're in week three now. Right? Starting three. Yeah. Starting three. It kind of gets jumbled together after yeah, a while. Yeah, it sure. starts to. Yeah. Yeah. It starts yeah. To, the days get jumbled together. Yeah. For sure. right on. But it's been an amazing tour so far. It's been awesome. It feels good. It's been a while since we've been out. So just getting back out and playing again in front of in front of uh, you know people has been awesome for us. Yeah. Any uh, cool road stories so far from this one, Ron, or is it just kind of? And kind of mellow. Well, here's the, here's the, our uh, our guitar player James. Every single night he he likes to run on stage and, and stage dive up there and Johnny Pool set. Yeah. And uh, one night he couldn't. The, it was too far away from the crowd, the barriers. So he's like, I'm gonna run up between the bouncers and jump on. And he didn't make it halfway there, and those bouncers destroyed him. Oh, really? They didn't so know he was they, they know he's in a band. Yeah. They just, yeah. They're, they're doing their job. They think he's like some kid. Yeah. I mean, they yanked him down so hard. He had. He had finger marks on his arm. Oh, from and himself. there's video footage. Oh, I was gonna say that. It'll, it'll be up at some yeah, point. It'll, it'll be, be on our for, website. So. It's nice to see him get wet <laughs> for a change. <laughs> right, right. On. Well, it's good that you guys like nothing happened, or you guys can keep playing. You know, that would right. be terrible to end the tour on something like that. Yeah. Um, what, what brought you guys back to record uh, "Dreaming in the Black and White"? I know you guys had a hiatus for a while. What what spurred the the decision to do this record? I know you guys did some demos and then right. went from there. We blasted through a mil millions of dollars and you know, <laughs> yeah. we, we wanted to get big again so we could get chicks and money. Yeah, right on. I think that's what everyone does. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we took a hiatus for a little while. Um, we've actually been back together playing since about 2007, right? Yeah. We, yeah. Just, we just did it slow and easy. You know, we got back and started playing. We just started writing. And, there was no pressure for a timetable, so we just kind of did it on our own. Yeah, there was no label time. at the time. There was no label, together. no, so we just started writing. We were doing some tours on our own, just playing some headlining shows around the country, and just took it easy, and, and, uh, and finally we got a little bit of interest from a label, and, and decided to make a record. It felt right, felt yeah. the right time, so we did it. Right on. Well, the, uh, the album came out, I think, last year, right, 2010? It, 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 no. it was supposed to, it got pushed back, it yeah. just came out. March 8th. March, March 8th? 8th? Oh, okay, so, yeah. so you just had the first single come off that one. Uh, right. Yeah, it's hard in my hands just came. 